The toilets didn't work and were overflowing with feces. Feces. <laughs> and they got people at the gas station running it and then the residents kind of, it's like a lawless yeah. RV park. Yeah. It's not the most welcoming place. No. I feel like on edge, like I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Hands down the worst RV park I've ever stayed at. When I went in, I was like, I don't want to use this bathroom. <laughs> I know, I, I know. I definitely wouldn't share in there. <laughs> no. We're Lloyd and Mandy. A year and a half ago, we quit our jobs, sold everything we had to travel the world full time. We're currently traveling North America in our RV, and today we're heading to what's rated as the worst RV resort in Nevada. guys so we're currently in Nevada at the moment and we were looking for another RV park for us to stay at while we've been traveling through and we stumbled onto this RV park that's apparently the worst one in Nevada so if you've seen our previous videos you know that we stayed at the worst all-inclusive in Mexico our goal with these videos is not to name and shame these businesses but more so to debunk the reviews that have been left online unfortunately the reviews on this place are pretty bad <laughs> well that's the thing though there's really bad ones and then there's some good ones. So who's right? Like maybe it isn't that bad and these people are like divas, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So if there's anything we can do, maybe we can help this business because when you Google worst RV park in Nevada, unfortunately this one is the one that comes up. So I would like to be able to um, bust that myth if possible, but the reviews are a little bit worrying. We'll share some with you guys. The, the photos don't look bad either. No. One of the reasons I really want to stay here is because it's under new management. So I would like to say these are old reviews and we can leave our own positive one at the end. That's what I'm aiming for. The ball's kind of in their court to give us a good experience though. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's some of the reviews. This RV park is one of the worst. Disorganized, overpriced, and filthy. Broken concrete everywhere. The bathrooms were dirty, outdated, moldy broken flooring. We will not be back. That's from two weeks ago. Okay, so that's definitely since new management has taken over and we can see here they haven't responded either. Kind of interesting. Campgrounds very unkept. The lot space they first assigned us had a broken outlet. Cracked and sinking concrete pad. Ooh. Sinking? Yeah, that's not, <laughs> that's a bit worrying. We were unable to level our RV. The Wi-Fi wasn't working. Of course, no discount for not being able to use it. The road noise was deafening. Ooh. Deafening. It seems like RV parks are always next to main highways. What is that? Why know. do they do that? You can always hear it. So there's a couple five-star ones. This person saying that they stayed there for a week and it was fine and they were happy with it. So that's why we're kind of like, okay, maybe it just depends on your experience. But then... Whoa, oh, this is Jesus. a long review. I don't want to read that one. It's two stars out of five and it doesn't look good. It's too long to read. It, yeah. It's like, they well, they wrote a letter to them. Yeah, like a book and they didn't respond. <laughs> hmm, I wonder why they don't respond. Do they not know that they're getting these reviews? Yeah. Um, this person said, I have to say I gave this place two stars simply because at least I had power at my trailer. If not, then one star would have done just fine. I had to leave a deposit for a key to the restrooms to start with. No biggie, except the restrooms were horrible. The toilets didn't work and were overflowing with feces. Feces. <laughs> the campgrounds could Ugh. use attention, weeds overgrown in camp spaces, just very little effort into something that could be fixed in a matter of few days. Hands down the worst RV park I've ever stayed at. My hopes aren't too high. Neither. Least. All we need is a nice place to stay where we can sleep. If they have Wi-Fi, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. We want to be able to do some washing. Yeah, we're definitely going to do some laundry. We're going to see if all of these reviews check out. We'll check out every area and see if we can maybe change people's opinions about it or maybe everyone's right. I don't know for sure if we've got a reservation because I emailed them two days ago. Maybe I'll call them while we're on the way or something. So that's not a good start, but so hopefully we can get in. <laughs> there was no booking, like the only booking form they had online was to fill out this form and they said they'd email you a confirmation and then get one. Okay, hopefully we have somewhere to sleep tonight. <laughs>
about a four hour drive to this RV park. Not a whole lot to look at. We're gonna stop for a snack on the way. Uh, and hopefully we can check in as soon as we get there and hopefully there's a spot for us. <laughs> so the plan is really to just get to the coast. Uh, we've been in the mountains for like two months and now that it's heading into summer, we want to get back to the beach. And so we're in Nevada, we're going through like Reno, Tahoe, San Francisco area to get to the California coast. And then we're just gonna keep driving up. Oregon, Washington, I don't know, we'll see what we find. And then we'll head back into Canada before we catch another flight again. It's been a minute. terrifying the RV nearly blew over I'm not kidding like the biggest gust of wind come through oh my god my heart is pounding it felt are you like, okay yeah. <laughs> it felt like we had a flat tire or something it just literally put us like onto the side of the road and I had to steer it back on and there was this massive gust of wind man that was scary all right, so we're just gonna take a quick break to tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Surfshark. We've been using Surfshark for over a year now because they provide us with our own VPN while we're traveling. And in case you didn't know what VPN stands for, it stands for Virtual Private Network. So having a VPN keeps you safe by basically covering up everything you do while you're online, kind of like wearing a mask. When your laptop or phone connects to the internet, all of your information is encrypted. So this is really important to us. As you know, we are digital nomads, so we are constantly using free Wi-Fi and cafes, restaurants, hotels, that type of thing. And we just have to make sure that all of our information is kept safe. Yeah, as we mentioned, we haven't had Wi-Fi while we've been in this RV. So we've been going to like Starbucks every couple of days. And every time we log into a public Wi-Fi, we make sure we're using Surfshark. But aside from providing us with extra security on the road, Surfshark also makes it possible for us to access online streaming sites that we wouldn't normally be able to access because we're in another country. So basically how it works is when you're using Surfshark VPN, you can choose which country server you want to connect to and not only that you can connect an unlimited amount of devices using just one Surfshark account. Me and Mandy can share our Surfshark account and both be using our phones or computers at the same time. So if you've never used a VPN before go and check out Surfshark. It's completely risk-free because they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. And on top of all of that if you sign up today using code Lloyd and Mandy you'll get an exclusive Surfshark deal and get three months free. We'll leave the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. All right, just stopping for a quick lunch before we head in. Weather's just gotten bad, so hopefully we get through this and we can actually do a proper look around this RV resort. A little bit nervous, so I hope it's safe. While Mandy's cooking uh, some lunch, I'm gonna try and ring this RV park and see if they got any availability. Otherwise, we're driving there for no reason. Still don't have an email back from them. I guess I'll just call and see what they say. Oh uh, yes, hello. I'm just wondering if you have any availability for tonight uh, for an RV. Oh, what day? Uh, today. Today? Yes, just one night. How big is your RV? 24 foot. Oh, okay. Yes, I have it. I have it one, two spaces here. I will be there in, a, in one hour. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, well she said they have availability. She didn't take a reservation or anything though, so hopefully there still is a spot available when we get there. We're about an hour away still and it's raining, so it's taking us a little while to get there.
Okay, I realized something since we've been staying at campgrounds that I haven't told you about yet. Me. No, I realized I have a fear even in hotel rooms as well. Actually, I have a fear that someone's put a hidden camera in it Oh, I kind of do so. Where did that come from? Uh, that documentary Which one? Oh What's it called? Oh, the guy that owned the hotel and he filmed everybody. It's called a lawyer or something Oh, yeah. that's why yeah, that's creepy and yeah, like shouldn't have watched that. Yeah, like always in the showers I always like I'm just thinking that some creep put like <laughs> a camera in there. Maybe because those documentaries are always based on an American and maybe because we're in America. <laughs> Could have influenced it as well. <laughs> All right, we're just about to pull into the RV park now. I feel a bit better because there's a lot of houses around. It was looking like we were just gonna be <laughs> in an RV park in the middle of the desert with no nothing else around. I was feeling very unsettled. I was hoping for that, that would have been sick. Okay, I may have spoke a bit too soon. This really isn't that nice of an area. <laughs> and we passed about six prisons on the way here, which was eye-opening. <laughs> Check-in process was really easy. We're in site 22. So far, it looks like I can understand why people were complaining about the road noise because we are right on the highway. I'm hoping we're still gonna get a good sleep tonight, but I'm gonna stay optimistic. The lady that checked us in was really nice. We'll see what the site looks like. Let's see how it is, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, their awning did the same thing as ours. Wow. Probably happened today. It was so windy. Yeah. That's okay, I don't feel so bad about Yeah, that. same. I thought we were just real bad noobs. Didn't it? Yeah. Wow. Look at all the dirt what and is stuff that? over there. Is that like a construction site? Or something? Yeah. It's us? It's us. Oh. Well. I thought it was site two, but it's 22. It's 22, there's a two missing. <laughs> First impression, I see why you would be a little bit taken aback at the state of the place, yeah. but it looks like they're just doing construction and stuff. Renovations. There's like a couple of patches of grass that look like they need to really badly be trimmed, and then the rest of it is all dirt. Yeah. I don't think it's very well maintained. And they're charging the same amount as like some really well maintained ones that we've stayed at that were like closer to cities. There's this dog run. We'll go check that out. Yeah. Take bear. Should we just go for a little walk around? Yeah, I need to get the toilet though. I'm gonna okay. check the toilets out. Okay. <laughs> See your foot. Come here. Is it alright? Literally the second we get here I let Bear out to go for a wee and he's stepped on something that's hurt him already since we got here. Poor thing. It's a little bit worrying. I'm not sure what's on the ground. He literally just started wi like limping as soon as we got here. He won't go on the grass now. Um, I'm not sure what's on the ground but Something's really hurt Bear's feet already. Like, really? Yeah, I let him just go wee on here and now he's limping. His back back paws. I don't know if it's these seeds or what, but now he's like, yeah, limping and he won't come outside. Really? Bear, are you okay? Come here. Come on. You okay? Come here, bud. Come on. Come on. 
Are you all right? Plastic bag going like a tumbleweed is so funny. This is the dog room. Looks like a construction site. I can see why you'd be a bit pissed if you weren't expecting this. Yeah. And you paid fifty dollars to stay here. It's pretty shabby. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It like it's like half a construction site. There's, looks like there's a lot of long-term people who have set up homes here. This is just people passing through. There's probably nowhere else to go. The vibe arriving here not very welcoming as well. <laughs> We stick out like sore thumbs, I think. <laughs> the Canadian plates give it away. It's a lot different to going to a campsite where everyone's like in a good mood and it's like on a lake and it's really nice and everything's like well kept. This is like completely different, mm. but it's twice the price. Yeah, insane. Dog shit everywhere. <laughs> this is like the designated poo area. Bear doesn't care, he's excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe we're being too picky. <laughs> Obviously it didn't work. No. <laughs> Can you find out why it says caution? I don't know why it says caution. They're dirty, but not... Not caution? No. <laughs> I feel like we have to be pretty stealth filming here because it's not a very welcoming vibe. Are you worried? We're getting a few weird looks. Yeah, not very welcoming. And so we gotta be a bit more discreet. Might use the phone instead of the camera for a bit of this. It's drawing a lot of attention. But we really need to do some laundry. We need to wash our towels. So we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna see what the laundry room's like. Have to put money in it? No. Looks like you do. She said it was free. Okay. All right, we just had to come back to the RV to get some quarters. Uh, we asked them if we had to pay for the laundry and they said it was free, but then it didn't work and we came back and they said, you just put quarters in and another quarter will come out or something. So I guess we'll give that a try, hey? <laughs> So it's not, I guess technically it's free. You get the money back, but you need money to start. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it works because now our, all our clothes are in there with laundry detergent all over them. So hopefully it works. I think it worked. Isn't that saying we need to put more in? Oh, it can be any other. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see if these hookups work, eh? Okay? Ugh. 
All right. It's just before 6 a.m. Um, Is that all? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the highway, pretty noisy. I wouldn't say deafening, like the, re the review said, but pretty noisy. We had to turn our aircon on to, like, drown it out. Um, and we're more, like, away from the highway, and there's sites that are, like, right on it, so I can imagine that being deafening, so I could see that. And we're also like sardined in here so much that I can hear the person next to us water pump from their RV. That's what just woke me up. Honestly, this feels like a glorified truck stop. How do you sleep? I'll wake up a few times. It sounds like it's our water pump, doesn't it? Yeah. It's so loud. Hey, Bear. How do you sleep, honey? Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Rent's due tomorrow. <laughs> Good thing we're leaving today. <laughs> One positive that I have to say about here is that our clothes are extremely clean. Even though the laundry didn't work 100% perfectly, um, it did get our clothes clean and it was free. So that's pretty big thumbs up from me. Most RV parks, even when you pay to stay here, they still charge you for the laundry, so that's pretty good. Yeah. And it did work. Yeah. It just took a while to figure out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to use that one. What do you mean? It's for park residents only. Park residents. With like, there's a handwritten note on the door, like the the one that says caution. Yeah. Um, there's a handwritten note on the door that says park residents only. So not people who are staying. Yeah. So I'm gonna go try the other one. The men's had a really weird, like one of the stalls was taped off. You think someone just like claimed a stall here? I don't know. It feels like that type of place. Honestly, though, like when I went in, I was like, I don't want to use this bathroom. <laughs> I know, I, I know. I definitely wouldn't shower in there. <laughs> no, I'm not having high hopes the fact that I want to shower here, but I just want to check it out anyway. It just feels a bit yucky. Yeah. <laughs> Get athlete's foot or something. Yeah, I'm going to see if this Wi-Fi works. Okay. All right, so no real big surprise, but the Wi-Fi doesn't work. We went to the store and asked them about it. He didn't know what the password was, so they gave us the password for like their store admin wi-fi but that doesn't reach to our rv so uh, no wi-fi here which isn't really surprising but when it's advertised and you're paying like a premium to stay here i think that's something that should be included but yeah i guess it's not here How's that bathroom? Honestly, not that bad. Dirt on the ground, but like other than that, it's like pretty good. Like spacious, more modern than other stuff. And like not too dirty, but like not that clean either. But So is that other bathroom for people who stay the night like us and then this bathroom to residents or something? Because she told us when we checked in to use this bathroom. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. I'm not sure exactly but the sign on that almost looked like it was just written by somebody random it didn't look like yeah it did management do you know what i mean just yeah. to like ward tourists off so it's just not a friendly place maybe they have like heaps of randoms just coming in using the bathroom like people who live nice in their van or whatever yeah. it doesn't feel like management's running this it feels like the residents are it feels like whoever manages it doesn't really work here yeah. and they've got people at the gas station running it and then the residents kind of, it's like a lawless yeah. RV park. Yeah. It's not the most welcoming place. No, I'm, I feel like on edge, like I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Get out of here. 
Yeah. <laughs> Don't see any point in hanging around here. There's not much to do. Not, not very there. welcome either. <laughs> what is going on there? They're like... They must be doing the irrigation or something. By, judging by the reviews, it seems like it's been that way for a long time. Shut it down for a week and get it done. Yeah. Look at, like, these people have got trampolines and shit. At least we are. We came to this RV park in hopes we could prove the negative reviews wrong, but unfortunately most of them were true. The park is very poorly maintained and seems like it's in a constant construction phase. However, we didn't see any construction or work actually going on. The Wi-Fi did not work, the dog area was filthy, and so were the bathrooms. The park seems to be run more so by the long-term residents than management, and the highway was very noisy. A couple positives were the laundry machines were free and actually got our clothes very clean, and the staff were also very friendly and helpful. However, considering it's twice the price of a well-maintained state park, it's just not worth it.